We're talking about Jimmy Donaldson, but you probably know him as Mr. Beast. You know, the guy with 312 million subscribers. Super duper popular. He's 26, he's got all these videos. Some of them feature these stunts, these big giveaways. Big money, right? Seven figures, millions of dollars. But there are some folks sounding the alarm after what they describe as a chaotic shoot. In a TV and streaming exclusive, our Chloe Malas speaks with another YouTube star who's looking to expose what's really behind the scenes of Mr. Beast's empire. So this Welcome. is your new studio. Rosanna Pansino, one of YouTube's original and most influential content creators, the host of a popular baking show. And now we're going to do this to the rest of our donuts. Is now speaking out against the platform's biggest star. Jimmy is not the same person that he is on camera as he is off camera. Pansino met Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, about five years ago. I have a heart for philanthropy and giving back, and that's how he presented himself as a good guy who loves to do charity and likes to make big, fun, silly YouTube videos. And whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. Pansino even went into business with Donaldson, though the ventures failed. But she says everything changed after she appeared on Mr. Beast's 2021 reality competition show, The Creator Games. Perfect dating she was unfairly edited, she says, to make it seem like she performed worse than she had. Yeah, you that's can be part. like cyber bullied if I say anything that's not positive about Mr. Beast. Mm -hmm. And when Pansino made that accusation on the pop culture podcast Just Trish last October, she says the backlash from some of Mr. Beast's fans was frightening. I received very serious, scary death threats. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, I've been online for a long time, so a little cyberbullying, the negative comments. Uh, I'm used to handling that mentally, but not at this magnitude. I was so scared. I thought I was having a heart attack. The death threats were very specific. They were very targeted. In spite of that, in July, Pansino went public again, this time on TikTok. I wanted to keep you guys updated on what I've been hearing about Mr. Beast's Beast games. She says that she's created a safe space for contestants to share their experience on Donaldson's new reality competition series. When Amazon MGM announced that series, the Beast Games was billed as the biggest reality competition series ever. The cash prize, $5 million. I feel like I've become an advocate. I can't in good conscience do nothing. How many people have reached out to you so far, roughly? Right now, it's a little over 200. Could you tell me about some of the allegations? They didn't have access to their medication. In a lot of these situations, it was life-saving medication. William, who asked us to call him only by his first name because he fears online backlash, showed up to what he thought was the Beast Games. But it turned out to be a multi-day casting call for the show in Las Vegas. One girl in our group, she did need her epilepsy medication and she did not get it. She had a hard time fighting for it. And yeah, that's so not all. Was, we had finally gotten access to food after about 10 hours and I witnessed a male just collapse right in front of me and he was convulsing. NBC News spoke to five other former contestants who asked to remain anonymous because they feared retaliation. They said there wasn't enough food and that they witnessed medics responding to a contestant who appeared to pass out. In August, the New York Times reported that more than a dozen unnamed participants told them that they had not received adequate food or medical care and that some competitors had suffered injuries from the physical challenges, with some even leaving the competition arena on stretchers. I think that the injuries are just appalling because they're injuries that could easily be avoided. What types of injuries are you hearing about? I heard people got trampled. During that first game, I got trampled. Every line had a group of people at the back that were just getting trampled. And I watched a woman get knocked out cold. Several contestants were hospitalized during the Beast Games promo shoot, according to NBC's Las Vegas affiliate KSNV, which cited multiple anonymous contestants. For his part, William says he would still compete again and that he also saw Donaldson upset, trying to get contestants food and water. He did try to do what he can. I do feel people are painting it that he did this like maliciously. 
But at the end of the day, I feel everybody was just woefully unprepared. In a statement to NBC News, a spokesperson for Mr. B said that the promo shoot involving over 2,000 participants was, quote, unfortunately complicated by global technology outage, extreme weather, and other unexpected logistical and communications issues, which we are currently reviewing. The spokesperson added that virtually all of those invited to the filming of the Beast Games in Toronto enthusiastically accepted our invitation and that they have taken steps to ensure that we learn from this experience. Amazon MGM Studios did not respond to a request for comment. What would you say to people who might say, well, it sounds like that, you know, business deal fell apart. You're doing this to elevate your own profile. I understand that perspective. I really do. But I really encourage those people to look at the bigger picture because what he's doing is not happening in a vacuum. It's happening to a ton of people. For the people watching who say that those that competed in the Beast Games, they were paid and they signed contracts and they knew that there were risks involved. On any TV show, especially a competition show, there's always risk that somebody's going to accidentally get hurt. I think that the difference here is an abuse of power. I think it's wrong to dangle this huge prize money, a $5 million carrot, in front of people's faces who really need it and take advantage. I don't think it's okay to actually shoot shows that are like The Hunger Games. Chloe Malas is joining us now. Uh, and Chloe, has Mr. Beast's team reached out to contestants directly at all? Do we know? Hey there, Hallie. Well, I spoke to Mr. Beast's spokesperson who said that they actually have communicated directly with 97% of those 2,000 people who attended that shoot in Las Vegas and that they've asked for feedback. Um, the spokesperson also added that Jimmy Donaldson has been very philanthropic over the course of his career, including giving more than $5 million in supplies to Ukrainian refugees. They also talked about how he powered a rural Zambian village with solar energy and, uh, you know, he's rebuilt 12 homes in South Africa for over 100 orphan children. So, you know, look, look, Hallie, I mean, he has made a huge name for himself um, mm -hmm. with these stunts and with these lavish giveaways and with his charitable giving, um, you know, but the, these are some very serious allegations um, that these contestants, they felt comfortable speaking to NBC News, uh, you know, anonymously. They're afraid of public backlash. And obviously, Rosanna Pansino, she's a huge star. And for her to come out and do this exclusive interview with us, it took her a lot of courage as well. But again, um, Mr. Beast's team, you know, they are denying these allegations. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.